In this video, we'll build this little toy rocking cradle. It's a fretwork pattern. It's made out of walnut. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five pieces. All fit together with little tabs that's fit up in there. I did a little uh, change on the wood. I'll cover that in the next section of the video. Uh, I'm using some using up some of my scrap around here as I've been doing in the last two or three videos kind of trying to clean things up. So stay tuned and we'll cover the uh, pattern and the material and we'll get to cutting it and putting it together. Well, here are the patterns for this little uh, project. Now, this could have been stack cut but that board was a little better on one side than the other. I wanted the good side to be out on both both of them. The reason that's not stacked, it could be stacked, but I wanted the same side looking out of that board, <clears throat> if you know what I'm saying. And I got this the little bottom of the bed, and here's the two ends. They're a little different. You couldn't stack cut them. You could if you want them both the same, but it was intended to one be the head and one be the foot. Uh, the pattern calls for a 3 sixteenths. This is 3 sixteenths. This one and this one. They are 3 sixteenths. Uh, that's all of that that I had, and I had to patch that together to get it enough to make it fit. This is actually 3 eighths. But I got the 3 sixteenths for the sides because these slots are for 3 sixteenths. So these all should fit in that, and they will still stick out like the original project did. So this is all walnut. And I had to manage the scrounge enough to make the whole thing out of walnut. So now I've just got to go cut it. Now it shouldn't be real hard to put together. Uh, I may have bevel. I'm going to see how this fits together. I may have to bevel the bottom of these uh, a little bit to get them to fit down on that. But anyway, main thing is cutting them out. So here we go. I'm going to start cutting them. For my first cut, I cut the little slot that the peg on the side goes in because I wanted to see exactly where I needed to cut, right on the line, or if I needed to cheat one side of the line or the other. I cut it right on the line and that fits perfectly, so that's how now I know how to cut the rest of these. So now we'll get started on this inside cuts.
So as I cut these, I tried to leave a little bit of extra top and bottom here. I'm going to get this pattern off and go over and test it in the uh, headboard and, and the footboard to see if I need to, how I need to cut these in the future. I've, uh, I left this, like I say, I left a little bit on this one. I can sand, file these down a little bit if I need to to make them fit. But if they're just right, I know how to cut the rest of them. I just barely cheated outside the line. I also left the bottom as is. Uh, you can see it's got a little bit of extra on it. I may have to uh, bevel that a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how that fits in there. The pattern wasn't clear. But I want to leave me a little extra material that I can sand off if I need to. So we'll get the pattern off and see how this fits the uh, in footboard and headboard. So there's everything cut out. I've got it uh, dry fit. It's not glued together. It's just uh, stuck together. I had to go in and had to go back and widen some uh, two or three of these a little bit to make these fit. Uh, and then on the the tabs, after I cut the first one, I realized I was going to have to cut those inside the lines just slightly, which is what I did on the rest of them. And with a little bit of uh, filing, it, it fit together really nicely. So now I'm going to dismantle it again, and I'm going to put it back together and glue it. And then I will seal it with something. So there's the finished project. My wife did a little crochet in, made some little, little figure to put in there and a little blanket fit down in there. But that's the finished project. Uh, fairly easy to cut. Big, I think the hardest part was making all these parts fit together, but that didn't take a lot of work. Just a little adjustment on, the, on those holes with the saw and a little bit of filing with a small file and it fit together really nicely. It actually was easier to put together than I thought it would be. But anyway, there's the end of that little project and I'll have something similar I think next week. I got a book of old uh, Patrick Spielman patterns and this is all fretwork stuff and uh, that seems to be popular. I like doing it. People seem to like seeing it. So 
is this little toy a rocking crib there, rocking cradle. So if you like that, hit the like button. And if you want to see more fretwork toys and other objects, well, hit the like, the, the subscribe button. I'm going to do more of this kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.